All right, you guys, happy quarantine. Um, this is day 1,642, and this is a beautiful quarantine contour tutorial. When I worked on the Regent Cruise Line, the girls were like, how do you get your makeup to, you know, look a certain way? Um, so I'm just gonna go through what I have, and I know some of the girls will have questions um, similarly to like my skin type which is oily with large pores um, so take with it what you need what you don't need and just run from there um, I actually go through all of my skincare regimen um, <clears throat> more like my daytime before I actually do my makeup so that way it makes more sense versus trying to do my evening and throwing it all off first product I like to put on is actually from fresh I like the rose toner because it helps calm my skin down i have what's called fire skin which means you touch it and it turns red um see <laughs> just that so it helps to soften and it feels really good too i like doing it at night when i go to bed just to help soften my skin down and you know give a little bit more luminosity to it it's really nice because it smells good too i love anything rose naturally rose scented versus it being um, chemically added. <clears throat> the next I'm gonna go in with the Aveda Tolosora moisturizer. It has turmeric in it, which is really great for brightening. Um, I've noticed like a big difference in my skin when I first started using it in terms of how bright it becomes. Um, which plays a big part in like your skincare routine because we always want like brighter better skin and Using something like this is really great and helpful for a creating, you know, just younger most youthful dewy skin This is just a great product. I love You know, I love what it is and I mean I've had this for about a year and I'm still I've got like a good amount on here um I forget what it retails for, but it's a really great price point for it. So you don't need a whole lot of it. The other thing I typically use is from Dr. Brandt, um, the No More Baggage. I'm not gonna use it tonight or today because I don't really need it. Um, but typically it's a little orange, you know, product. It's great for camouflaging. So if you're gonna use um, on top of like your dark circles and everything. It just really helps to get rid of that. Since I'm going to use concealer, I'm not going to use it. So um, I don't want to overload my skin with product. So once I get all like my basic skincare down, I'm going to go through with my Fix Plus Matte. One of my favorite go-tos, my staple. And you have to shake it up because there is a mattifying product powder inside of it. Then I'll go through the MAC Strobe Cream, and this is Peach Light. I don't use the pink one for the fact that I'm already so pink, um, and I don't like the gold one just because, just personal preference. I like the peach one because it just looks more natural. Um, one thing good to know about using <laughs> this foundation, I'm sorry, this primer with the foundation I use, um, because the strobe cream is more hydrating and has luminosity to it, it's going to give your skin like a shine to it. And you can see, I don't know, have shiny skin naturally. Um, it's going to give your skin a little bit of luminosity to where when you put the foundation on, it's going to be more mattifying. So that way it just balances out into like a natural skin complexion. And because I have overly active skin in terms of being pink I just have to be mindful like what I put on there um, and I will go in with a color corrector just to knock some of the red down what else so then I'll go through Dr. Brandt pores no more it's actually a primer but I like how it looks as like a foundation um, because I am going to build up with other products on top of it so it's kind of like a little bit thicker than a primer in terms of like pigmentation. So it's pretty much like a light to medium coverage with like a moussey finish. And one of these I've had almost like a year or two, so you get a generous amount out of them. 
I think it's like one fluid ounce, but and a little goes a long way. How's everybody doing? Surviving quarantine. Yeah, definitely it's been an interesting experience. Like I think everybody is trying to like figure out what they're gonna do <laughs> now that we're all like quarantined. Learn about new things about themselves. I've definitely started picking up um, like my script writing again. So, you know, pick up scripts and I was like, oh, that's where I left off. Cause I stopped writing, a, you know, a couple years ago and then I started looking into my work again. I was like, oh, you know, it's very influential, like where you were in that part of your lifetime and, you know, certain things in your life translate into your scripts. So just, I just love how it just looks on the skin. It's just a really great pig, pigmentation and blend. Get up into that hairline. I don't typically use a foundation brush, especially when I'm using that one. If I'm gonna use like my Studio Fix fluid or something a little bit thicker, then I'll go in with my, you know, my 170 brush and just like buff it in. Um, but typically I, I don't. So now I'm gonna use my 24 hour concealer just going in and really brightening up underneath it i like a white underneath the eye not to the point where it looks like you just took <laughs> clown white and just ripped it up underneath there but i do like it to be considerably bright a little bit on the lip a little up and through here i love it because it's it's very pigmented a little goes a long way um, and it's self-setting so you don't really need to put any powder on top of it I'm going to do it anyway just because I like a little bit extra hydration on my eye um, and a little bit more brightening um, I am ambidextrous when it comes to like makeup and everything and I remember I was doing one girl's makeup and she was like, oh my God, you're both handed. And I was like, hmm, that's public schooling for you. So. And whatever's left on my brush, I like to go right above like my beard line. Just to blend it out. Um, I will go through with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, just to knock out some of this excess redness. I like to keep a little bit so I don't look completely blanked out. All across the nose. Looks good, right? Yeah, I like the double wear. I like to use either that or the Laura Mercier um, powder. Um, it has a green hue to it. So depending on what like my mood is, if I want to use like a creamy consistency or if I want to use something a little bit more um, powdery, I'll use that. But it just really depends on like what my mood is and what coverage I need. So now that I have all the, the complexion stuff done, I'm going to go in, set it in with the mineralized skin finish powder. Um, it is in light plus. Before I like to go all over my skin, I'll actually take a little bit and just pack it up underneath my eye. And just right out here. What I love about this powder is it's it's really great for drier skin. Um, it's a gel-based formula, so it's gonna hydrate your skin. Um, and the finish is really beautiful because it's a light to medium coverage. So even if you don't wanna wear a lot of makeup, you just wanna dust it on your skin and knock out some shine, you can do it with that. Otherwise, just go to town with it. And I like to press it into my skin. I'm not one of those 
makeup artist that like to just like really scrape it in there. I just feel like if you're going to do that, it's just going to lift off everything that you've been working on. And you see how like the strobe cream still gives you like that really beautiful dewy finish. I'm not big on shiny since I am so oily, but I do like a natural finish to where it looks like, oh, it's still skin without it completely disappearing. All right, so now kind of sculpt in the face. I have really nice cheekbones, um, but I like to go in and just give them a little bit more edge. I don't really sculpt mine out a whole lot, but I do like to use um, a little bit darker of a face powder. This one's in NW30. Um, and just give a little bit of warmth. I do color my hair quite a bit and the eyeshadow palette I have is really nice because it can take me through like the the color range that I like to work with. I like to go from being a redhead to you know having black hair to having you know my black and white hair to pretty much anything and that's kind of like my my foundation sculpting eyeshadow palette and then just add everything else on top of it just to create more of a editorial or trend look so now i'm going to go through actually the eyeshadow palette that i made um these are colors that i've purchased and added and um, some of the colors i don't know what they are to be honest with you but some of them i do like these are taupe from mac that's soft and gentle i've actually had this one for about five years now and it's she's starting to see her days um and then other colors we got beautiful nylon over here, which I like to do a double highlight on my cheek. So, double highlight? What does that mean? I'll show you. Um, I don't even know what half of these brushes are. I've had them for so long. Um, like, this one I've had since I've lived in Korea, and that's been, like, a couple years ago. <laughs> um, I think it's actually from the Face Shop, which is a great makeup um natural-ish line um anyway if you live in korea or you're going to travel to korea go to the face shop they've got great skincare um so i like to use my little angle brush just load it up on the side of it do on the other side need a little bit more Perfect. Now I'm not going to blend that out because once I put my highlighting on her, highlighting on it, I'll then I'll go through and blending it out. So now I'm going to go through and do some highlighting and I'm going to use nylon. Um, it's like a lemony yellow in the pan, but once you put it on, it's like a white, a warm white. But it's really intense. Look at her. Take a little bit of that, put it on the inner corner. It's one of those colors that immediately like makes you look awake. Um, sometimes you can take the Fix Plus. I wouldn't necessarily rend it, recommend it with the matte one because there is a powder inside of it. Um, but you can use some of the other ones and just take your brush, spray it with the Fix Plus, not with the hair on it, and then go on your skin and make it look more liquid. Look at that. And I'd like to just buff in the soft and gentle on top of it. And then once I have that done, I'll go in with my big fluffy and go right on top of it. Look how gorgeous that is. Love it, love it, love it. Now from here, if I'm going to do my eyes, it really depends on like what mood I'm doing and everything. I can either take the contour powder I used before or just go in with the powder that I have already. 
since I want to do more of like a elevated day look, I'm going to go in with more like this soft espresso. I think this is a Smashbox brush. I don't remember. Um, and then just go through my contour crease right here. and go probably like a third of the way in. And then with my favorite Mac brush is the 286. She's seen some love. And I'm going in with my taupe, which is also my cheek contour color. And then just blending. I have to bring it up. That highlight is gorgeous. Circular motions. Take it along down the side of my nose. I love it. actually don't mind that at all so I'm gonna use my favorite mascara it is the climax from Nars rotate 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 um, I actually have two of them one I use for my beer and then one I actually use for my eyes um, I love this mascara when they first came out with it it was just one of those products that I could not stop selling and pretty much I sold it to everybody that came through um, my counter. Or I'm inside Nordstrom and we can cross sell from other product or other product lines. Um, which is, works out really well because, you know, most people's makeup bag doesn't consist of one product. You know, some people are really dedicated and really loyal to that brand, which is great. You know, that's their own prerogative. Look at those lashes. I really short lashes to begin with. Um, but it's nice because it just builds, you know, loyalty with the guest who may not necessarily like, you know, a MAC mascara or, you know, a MAC eyeliner. But if I can sell them something outside of my brand, it just creates more loyalty because it just shows that I know, you know, a greater breadth of product versus I'm only going to sell you this one product and there's no other options for you. You know, some people sell that way, but that's not how I style. I love this mascara because it's a gel based formula and, um, oh my gosh, it's just so gorgeous. Um, really one coat gets you there, but it also helps to curl your lashes and you can put it on in the morning and then go throughout the day and you can put another coat on and it just gives you much more voluminosity. Just a great product. I really should have bought more of these. I'm not gonna use the other one that I use for my beard just because I like to keep products for what they're intended for or what I'm intending them for. <laughs> um, it looks really good. Let's get into the brows. But I like just to go through and just do individual hairs and not focus. Okay, I need to get this spot covered. I just like to go through and some people say it's a little bit more hazardous that way. But I just like to get it in there because if you focus so much on one spot, it's going to be so dense with product that you're going to have a heck of a time trying to just blend it out. So I like to go in and then, then bounce back and excuse me, bounce back and forth with putting the product on. Um, I've actually had my brows microbladed and it was fun for a while. Um, 
the reason why I didn't keep up with it because of two reasons. I like to ch change my brow shape quite often. Um, and that because I am quite covered in tattoos. So I know how tattoos can age. Um, and I've actually seen some women come through and their brows are kind of greenish. So I have to go through with a brow pencil that's more on like the red side and just do color correcting that way. Even when you change your hair color, that's, you always got to keep that in mind too, that your brow should be more of like a medium tone of what your hair is. Um, I like a more dramatic brow, so I'll go a little bit darker. Um, this color is actually called Stud. This is from MAC. Um, I'll, I'll use that, and then I'll use my mascara that I use for my beard just to go through. And it's also nice too because if you have too much product on your brow with the pencil it'll just soften it down looks good all right i love the aveda lip saver um I went to school at Aveda and I love like their program. I love what they stand for. I love like their motivation and everything. Um, I actually got into doing a lot of fashion shows because of them. Um, just because they gave me that exposure that I really needed. The lip saver is so good. I'm like so addicted to it. So let me get these lips on. Um, so I have actually pretty thin top lip. So I actually like to go through um, with a chromographic pencil. This is an NC15, I think, NW20, and just outline my lips. It's a really good technique to give you a fuller lip. Look at that. Then I'll go through with my mystery concealer brush. And I like to keep it pretty sharp along that lip line. Blend into here. Smile, so that way it gets up into the beard line. I get a lot of questions too about with guys with makeup, or when guys do their makeup, does it hurt when you apply it into the beard? No, it's just, you have to be mindful about it though, because product can sit in the beard. So you just want to go through and just like clean all that up. That's why a lot of the time when I do my makeup, I do swirling motion versus like patting it in because when you swirl it in, you're getting it into like where the hairs are. Um, so it doesn't just sit there. Mm -mm -mm. So now I'm going to take Oak. Those look good. And I am using Viva Glam 2. Um, when I worked at MAC, I was the Viva Glam ambassador, um, which means um, it was my job to educate guests as well as um, the cast, not cast members, the employees about or pretty much anybody that comes to the counter and buys MAC lipstick about the benefits of Viva Glam. 100% um, of the proceeds actually go to the MAC Viva Glam Fund. Um, this year is actually their 25th anniversary. Um, it's a really great program helping those in need. It's a very philanthropic um, thought process where you're giving back to people who are in need, who are affected by HIV. Um, 
you know, being able to take people to appointments, um, buying food for babies, buying diapers for babies, um, just really reaching out to people in a time of need. Um, a really cool thing about the Viva Glam Fund that actually donated $10 million, $10 million to um, about 250 local organizations for trying to find a cure for COVID-19 so that way it's going to help out a little bit more. So, you know, the, it, people need help. You know, it's not just for one demographic. Um, so, you know, people need assistance and they have the opportunity. So, um, currently they have three amazing shades. Viva Glam 1, which is a beautiful, what I call a neutral red. Um, Viva Glam 2, which is like this beautiful beige. And then Viva Glam 3, which is a beautiful plum color. It's a brownish, um, reddish color. It's, I mean, they're really great colors on every skin tone. Um, you can really make them whatever you want them to be, and they're just stunning. So let's hurry up and get this look done. Not that I have anywhere to go, so... <laughs> So now I'm going to go in with Smolder Eyeliner. Right along that waterline. Smolder is a little smudgy. So I like to go over it with an eyeshadow just to lock it in. Go back to my palette I made, and I'm gonna go in with this beautiful black. Just press my little brush in, starting from the outer corner, and just dragging it through. Just so that it deposits the pigment from the outside in, so I don't have like this big clump of product on the inner corner. to go through my beard and wiggle it back and forth pretty much following how my hair naturally grows It doesn't make it super dark, but it just does give like a nice little density to it. Right? I love it. And it's really nice too that when you're in between hair colors or if you don't want to color your beard, it's a really great non-committal way to just even everything out. And just comb it all through your beard. And then to finish the look, <coughs> the Fix Plus Matte. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or if there's any looks you want me to do, feel free to message me down below. And I will talk with you guys later. Bye.